this is Sanjay Sharma. I love telling stories and friends say they have enjoyed listening to them. In Kisse, I share these anecdotes with the wise young Aryan. No wisdom and no advice, but I do look for a smile from you. So I had a very interesting day at college. Because a couple of my professors were mentioning how the emergency that happened in 1975. You must have been in college that time. Do you remember anything? I can never forget the emergency or what happened when it ended. The longest serving federal minister since India's independence was the esteemed Babu Jagjeevan Ram, who served as a union minister for a full 30 years. Born in the village of uh, Chandwa in Bihar uh, in 1908, he emerged as one of the major leaders of the backward castes in India. In 1935, he established the All India Depressed Classes League. And later he was a member of the Constituent Assembly of India, where he argued for the rights of Dalits and also for affirmative action based on caste. My own searing memory of uh, Jagjeevan Ram is from 1977. Indira Gandhi had uh, announced the emergency in June 1975 and overnight the world changed. There was an atmosphere of fear. Even as students, we would hesitate to say something that would be construed as a criticism of the ruling party. Two years went by. And confident of political outcomes, Indira Gandhi surprised everyone in early 1977 by announcing the elections for March 77 and the emergency would end. Of course, uh, she thought that the Congress would easily come back to power and that perhaps was a general expectation despite uh, Jay Prakash Narayan's uh, Sampoorn Kranti Andolan or the Total Revolution Movement but uh, everything changed on the 3rd of February 1977 when Jagjeevan Ram along with a few prominent ministers like H.N. Bahuguna and Nandini Satpathi announced that he was leaving the Congress and they were forming a new party the Congress for Democracy and his jump conveyed a completely different message. Something was wrong in the Congress. And what was taken, as, taken for granted as the outcome of the election suddenly changed. And indeed, when the election was held, uh, the Janta Party came to power with 295 seats. And uh, Babu Jagjeevan Ram served as Deputy Prime Minister from 77 to 79. Later, I was delighted to discover a family link to Jagjeevan Ram. In 1925, Badan Mohan Malviya visited uh, the Ara Town School, which was the English language school in Ara, and impressed by the welcome address uh, given by the young Jagjeevan Ram, he asked Jagjeevan Ram to join the Banaras Hindu University, which Madan Mohan Malvi had, found, had founded in 1916. Of course, when uh, Babu Jagjeevan Ram reached BHU, he faced some of the rampant uh, discrimination at that time. Some members of the staff said that they would not uh, clean his room or wash his clothes and his uh, utensils. And this deeply upset the Vice Chancellor who wanted to take strong action against those staff members and who mentioned this to Malviji. But uh, Mahamana advocated a different course of action and uh, he announced that uh, Jagjeevan Ram could actually stay in his own home, sharing a room with Govind Malviya, his son, who was uh, my mother's father, my grandfather. And Mahamana also announced that he himself would clean the room and wash uh, Jagjeevan Ram's uh, clothes and utensils. When this happened, the staff felt abashed and Jagjeevan Ram was then accorded a proper room in the hostel. I was simply delighted 
to come across the story of the connect our family had with a person that I have admired deeply since 1977. We'll be back next week with the next episode. Please like and comment below. And if you like a lot, do share. Also, subscribe to our channel Kisse so that you don't miss out on any Kissa by the OG. Y-O-E. What's Y-O-E? Years of experience. <laughs>